Hey, are you getting bored studying Japanese with a textbook? Do you want to improve your Japanese as quickly as possible without a teacher? Try out my audio course for free. The link is down below. Thank you. Hi, みなさん、こんにちは。今日は、あいだ、あいだにを勉強します。あいだは日常生活でもよく使うので、今日マスターしましょう。Okay, so in Japanese, there are quite a lot of ways to say while or during in English. And one of them is aida and aida ni. Okay, so there are two ways of using aida. So we sometimes say just aida and other times we use ni particle with aida. So we say aida ni. It's a little tiny difference, but if you use the wrong one, it sounds a little bit strange. Okay, so let's start with Aida. Okay, so for example, while I was working, Saki was watching a movie. You can say, Watashi ga shigoto shite ru aida, Saki wa eiga mite ta. Watashi ga shigoto shite ru aida, Saki wa eiga mite ta. Okay, so before Aida, we usually use this. でいる form, like I am doing form. Because same as English, when you say while, there is some kind of continuation state, like while I am doing something. So we use でいる form, like 寝ている間、シャワーを浴びている間。And very important thing is that in English, you say while I was working, Saki was watching a movie. So if you translate it directly to Japanese, it would be 私が仕事してた間、さきは映画見てた。But unlike English, in Japanese, the first part before 間 remains present tense. And another important thing is that when you state two people's action, you use が particle after the first person. So it's 私が仕事してる間、さきは映画見てた。And usually we always omit watashi, but in this sentence pattern, if you omit watashi ga and say, shigoto shite ru aida, saki wa eiga mite ta, it's unclear who you are talking about. So when you are stating two people's action with this sentence pattern, you cannot omit watashi. So it's watashi ga blah blah aida. Someone wa blah blah shite ta. But of course, if you are only talking about yourself, like for example, While I was going to university, I was living in Tokyo. You're just talking about yourself. So you can omit watashi and say, 大学に通ってる間、東京に住んでた。大学に通ってる間、東京に住んでた。Okay, so for example, how do you say, While I was shopping, my boyfriend was playing a game. While I was shopping, my boyfriend was playing a game. Okay, how do you think you can say it? It's 私が買い物してる間、彼氏はゲームしてた。私が買い物してる間、彼氏はゲームしてた。And it doesn't always have to be the past tense. So if you want to say, for example, My son is studying at an academy while I'm at the gym. You can say, 私がジムにいる間、息子は塾で勉強してる。私がジムにいる間、息子は塾で勉強してる。And we can use this verb いる because いる is a verb that expresses the state. So we sometimes use this verb いる with 間 like place にいる間。Or, for example, if you want to say, my husband is always watching the baseball game while I am doing the house chore, you can say, 私が家事をしている間、夫はいつも野球の試合を見てる。私が家事をしている間、夫はいつも野球の試合を見てる。So again, you can use present tense with Ida to express like while I do this, this person does this with the present tense. And you can also use Ida with nouns that has meaning of duration. Like for example, 夏休みの間、会議の間、学生の間、子供の間、9時から12時の間、3日から5日の間、etc. Like for example, While I was a student, I was doing some part-time job. You can say, 学生の間、アルバイトしてた。学生の間、アルバイトしてた。Okay, so let me introduce you 間に now, so I can explain the difference between 間 and 間に。
。OK、じゃあ、スキットを見てください。ああ、もう最悪。また寝てる間に蚊に刺された。またミクめっちゃ刺されるね。かゆい。かいたらもっとかゆくなるよ。でもかゆすぎて我慢できない。For example, I will vacuum, like clean the room, vacuum while my kids are playing outside. You can say, 子供が外で遊んでる間に掃除機をかける。子供が外で遊んでる間に掃除機をかける。So, 間に is used when something happens during some kind of continuation state. So, 子供が外で遊んでる is a situation that lasts for a certain time, right? 子供 is playing outside and 掃除機をかける is an action. No, a situation. So, 子供が外で遊んでる間に掃除機をかける。There's one action during a certain time. For example, how do you think you can say, While I was sleeping, there was an earthquake? That's scary. <laughs> 怖すぎるね。Do you know how to say, There was an earthquake? みなさん。It's 地震があった。地震があった。Okay, so how do you think you can say, while I was sleeping, there was an earthquake? みなさん。It's 寝てる間に地震があった。寝てる間に地震があった。Okay, so the difference between just 間 and 間に is that 間 without any particle is like, while this situation was going on, This situation was going on. So, we often use AIDA to kind of compare two people's action or talk about what the other person was doing while I was doing something. Like, for example, Ari ga hataraite ru AIDA, Kirigirisu wa zutto nete ta. Ari ga hataraite ru AIDA, Kirigirisu wa zutto nete ta. Or, like, while I was doing this, the situation was like this. Like, for example, Daigaku ni kayotte ru AIDA. 東京に住んでた。It's not like while I was doing something, something happened, right? It's more like while this, the situation was like this. 大学に通ってる間、東京に住んでた。But if you want to express this happened while I was doing something, or someone did this while I was doing something, or for example, I want to do this while this, you can use 間に。Like, for example, how do you say, my friend called me while I was taking a shower? Okay, so do you know how to say, my friend called me? We say, 友達から電話がかかってきた。友達から電話がかかってきた。But we Japanese people also say, 友達から電話が来た。友達から電話が来た。But the proper way of saying it is, 友達から電話がかかってきた。So how do you say my friend called me while I was taking a shower? It's シャワーを浴びてる間に友達から電話がかかってきた。シャワーを浴びてる間に友達から電話がかかってきた。And unlike when it's just 間 when you use 間に we can omit 私が。So like I said, when we use 間 and compare like while I was doing this, someone else was doing this, we need to use 私が。Like 私が買い物してる間、彼氏はゲームをしてた。To state two people's action. But with 間に you don't have to put 私が。So you can just say シャワーを浴びてる間に。友達から電話がかかってきた。You can also use a noun before 間に。Like for example, 学生の間にいろんなことに挑戦したい。学生の間にいろんなことに挑戦したい。Or 夏休みの間に運転免許を取る。夏休みの間に運転免許を取る。Etc. And one more important thing. We can also use 間に when there was a change. While doing something or during a situation. So, for example, we go closer while working together. You can say, 一緒に仕事をしてる間に仲良くなった。一緒に仕事をしてる間に仲良くなった。So, we sometimes use the words like, なる to become or 変わる to change or ようになる to start doing something with 
I need to show that there was a change while doing something or during a situation. So for example, while I was talking to my friend, my way of thinking changed. Okay, so my way of thinking, how do you say that? It's 考え方。考え方。And do you know how to say to change? Something changes? It's 変わる。変わる。So, how do you say while I was talking with my friend, my way of thinking changed? It's 友達と話してる間に考え方が変わった。友達と話してる間に考え方が変わった。So, it's similar to as in English, like as I'm talking to my friend, my way of thinking changed. Okay, みなさん、I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please hit the like button and if you like to improve your Japanese fast but you don't really have time to study or you simply don't like to sit down and study with a textbook, please check out my Sharing Audio product. With this course, you will not only learn Japanese verb conjugation and sentence patterns fast, But also, you will improve your speaking skill. I teach the most powerful grammar that you need to express yourself in Japanese, and I'm also teaching a lot of vocabs and expressions that are actually used a lot in real life. And sentences that you would actually use in day to day life. And the focus is to help you connect with your friends in Japanese. So I do teach how to say things formally in the audio, but unlike a normal textbook, the sentences are all in casual Japanese and you can listen to it anytime, anywhere. So my students listen to my audios while they are exercising, cooking, commuting, doing the normal chores in the house. So even if you don't have time to see, Sit down and study, you can still learn Japanese with me. No excuse. Whether you are a basic level learner who needs a tool to self study Japanese in a fun way, or an intermediate learner who is struggling to communicate in Japanese even though you know the basic and a lot of sentence patterns and a lot of words, this course will get you to the point where you can confidently communicate and express yourself in Japanese and connect with people in Japanese. Okay, here is what people who use this course say. So I've been using Miku's Real Japanese products for a couple. Months now, and they are incredible. So, I had no idea how beneficial it was to be speaking and saying out loud Japanese words and sentences until I started listening to a shattering audio on the way to work. And, and while I do get a few funny looks on the train for whispering some Japanese phrases, I actually have my progress has shot up crazy amounts. If you are looking for a way to improve your Japanese, I'd 100% recommend looking into Sensei Miku's products. And honestly, she's so lovely and you will not be disappointed. I've been traveling to Japan for you know, over 20 years. I've lived there for four years. I'm currently the president of our Japan office. One thing I really, really like and appreciate and has helped me personally is in every audio, she goes beyond just the pure lesson, she expands. Up、upon the concepts and the vocabulary, giving you background information. This truly has helped me to you know, remember the lesson better. And more importantly, it's been really a, overall a fun and enjoyable experience. Of all the lessons that I've taken over the years, Miku Sensei's practical approach、uh, to teaching has really finally helped me to understand the everyday Japanese that people speak 80% of the time. Years ago, I fell in love with Japan. And ever since, I've been trying to master the language. But along the way, I know I've missed and forgotten so many things. But Miku Sensei's lessons and her shadowing audio drills are so easy to understand. She's always so encouraging, and she really knows how to keep it fun, too. Even in the most elementary audio lessons, I always find things that I'd forgotten or had never really fully understood. And speech patterns that were once mechanical now seem to flow more and more naturally. It feels so good when a Japanese friend says, Wow, it seems like your Japanese has jumped to the next level. Okay, so if you really want to improve your Japanese fast and save a lot of time while self studying Japanese, please check it out. The link is in that description box. I put a lot of love and my passion to teach Japanese into this course, and it took me thousands of hours to create this course. So I hope it's gonna help you to express yourself in Japanese, and most importantly, I hope it's gonna help you to connect with your friends in Japanese. Okay, so see you in the next video. Mata ne! Mite kurete arigato!